In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Count Dooku for the Vintage Collection. This has probably been one of the most highly anticipated characters in the TVC line for many years now, and we can go all the way back to TVC 1.0, and even probably in the earliest days at that time. Um, if you recall, somewhere in the 30 range, uh, there was an Attack of the Clones wave, which at this point I do have that entire wave, so maybe I'll do a video on that here soon. Uh, but even at that time, people were talking about, well, we need Count Dooku in the TVC line, and here we got all these uh, unique characters like the Nick Toe Jedi and then the new Kit Fisto and um, the Senegard even. A lot more obscure characters, but we didn't get the main villain at that time. And of course, we got some more Attack of Clones characters scattered throughout TVC 1.0, and uh, unfortunately, Count Dooku just didn't happen at that time. And then even up until... Uh, TVC 2.0, and uh, over the last couple years since then, people are, have been demanding Count Dooku from Hasbro for a long time now, and we finally got him, and it, fortunately it was not too long of a wait between the time he was initially announced and the time he was released. Um, I, <laughs> I, uh, if you saw my video of the clone I previously reviewed, I did mention that unfortunately Dooku has been delayed for me a couple times, but then fortunately, uh, about the day after I initially uh, filmed that video, uh, I got the shipping notification that I was expecting to, uh, the two Count Dooku's I ordered. And the second one I plan to keep carded here. Uh, if you've been following the channel for a while, you probably know that Count Dooku is one of my favorite characters. Uh, hard to say if he's top 5, but he certainly would be a top 10. I do have the Hot Toys version of him, and of course I have uh, various ones reviewed on the channel up until this point, like the Black Series one, and uh, a few of the other previous 3 and 3 quarter inch figures of him, which I will bring some of those out here in a little bit, and we'll do a comparison. And uh, at some point I would like to make a dedicated Count Dooku video, just showing off all the various ones I have. And there's still quite a few I'm missing for the collection, but I hope to get around to getting those at some point. So about this figure, uh, initially I was a little bit skeptical of it, and it was mostly because of the cape. Uh, looking at the promo shots of it, I was like, eh, you know, the cut of that cape doesn't look very good. But after having this in hand, it's much better than I expected, and uh, quite frankly, I think this is the perfect Count Dooku figure at this time. And it looks pretty spot on to Christopher Lee. It's not 100% there, but I would say if you look at him from certain angles, I would say, yeah, that's definitely Christopher Lee. It's nice to, nice to be able to finally fill this hole that so many of us have had in our collections. Uh, a, basically a modern update to Count Dooku with all the features that we could ask of it. But without saying anything further, let's just go ahead and take a closer look at this guy on the card. Looks pretty good. Had a hard time deciding which one I wanted to open. Uh, mainly I decided this card looked a little bit better compared to the other one. Uh, as you can see, towards the top there it has a little bit of that dent. And this one here did as well, but I think on this one I kept carded. It's a little bit less prevalent. Nice image of Christopher Lee from the movie there. I have, I have heard some people complain about this image though because it's uh, a little cut off that he should show up a little bit more on the card image there and it's a little dark. I can kind of see that, but you know, you can see his face. You can see a large portion of him. Not much to really complain about. Kind of like how that lightning looks and then it goes into that blue background, which is nice. Uh, it's about time Hasbro revigorates Attack of Clones in the TVC line. It's been a long time since we've gotten any, really. And the few we get are few and far in between. A little description about him, and he is VC307 there. Basically a little bit about his fall to the dark side. Another image of him with that uh, force lightning hand. So that's pretty much it for the package. Now let's go ahead and uh, look at this guy a little closer. So like I said, some angles, it's a little or a little uh, off, I would say, as to 
looking spot on the Christopher Lee, but then other angles, especially like this one. And then if you look at uh, from an up angle, it's like, oh yeah, that's it's pretty spot on. And even a side view there. It looks really good. The photo reel turned out nice. Eyes are painted good, eyebrows, everything. He's got a little bit of flush on his skin. And his hair is slicked back. That's how it should be. Got some nice highlights on that. Has the chain for his cape here. Which is this cape is not exactly uh, a Jedi cape, it's more of his, uh, because he's a Count. Um, if you don't know about Count Dooku, he is uh, from the planet Sereno. And he's allegedly one of the wealthiest men in the entire Star Wars galaxy. I think he inherited a lot of it. Of course, he's using a lot of his wealth to fund things like uh, the Separatist Alliance. For the rest of his robes here, uh, pretty plain, I guess. It's kind of hard to mess that up. Uh, we'll, I'll mention with this cape, as you can see, it's uh, like that dark brown on top, and then the inside of it, it's more of a lighter brown, which is nice. I think the Hot Toys one did the cape the best because it does have some specific details in it that's not really noted on this but it's not too big of a deal for being a three and three quarter inch action figure you can't really complain and it's mostly along the shoulders there there's a specific pattern that kind of helps with the flow of the rest of his cape and then it has certain uh, designs throughout it and you could take this cape off if you wanted to um, yeah, you can just slip it over his head there like that. I have no doubt that some people will eventually make their own customs. I'm sure some people have already. Or maybe they'll take a cape from one of the previous Dooku's and use it for this. He has his belt there. He has his hands. He has his black boots. In terms of his articulation, he does have a... It's actually on a ball joint, I think, his head is. It's not on a barbell, which is interesting. If it is on a barbell, it's not very defined. Not like the rest of the action figures. And I guess we can try and pop his head off. Well, actually that might be a barbell, but it's... It acts more like a. it's on a ball point more than a barbell. It doesn't quite have the range of motion like the rest of the figures, and if you rotate his head to the side, uh, he's going to have a little bit of that side look to him and angle. Uh, but of course, the hinge shoulders, elbows. A lot of people do complain about the elbows because it can only go about 90 degrees. It's not too big of a deal. Not too concerned about it. And he does have... Yeah, it is hinged wrist, but it's hard to notice that because of the cut of the sleeves there. Uh, he does have a joint at the torso. Well, more at the waist, I guess. Uh, at least they didn't do that cut at the torso there like they do with a lot of other action figures. At least for the aesthetic look of him. And he does have a cut in his skirt here, so it allows for the extra mobility with his legs. But he does have the hinged hips and then, of course, the swivel thigh. And uh, hinge knees and rocker ankles. It's pretty good articulation all around. And definitely the most articulated three and three quarters Dooku to date. In terms of his weapons and accessories, he does have his signature lightsaber here, which I think he does. Uh, they made it as a smaller hill and a smaller blade compared to the rest of his. Uh, other action figures out there. Just bring one sample out right here. You can see the huge difference between the two. 
Not sure which one's more accurate. It is noticeably smaller. And thankfully Hasbro did do an unknighted hilt, which can attach to his belt. And that looks pretty good. And of course, Count Dooku. What would he be without his uh, hand with lightning? Seems to be a pretty standard thing that comes with a lot of Dooku's out there. And I'm glad that Hasbro included it. I actually have not put it on his hand yet, but we'll do that right now and see how it looks. Uh, hopefully I can get it off. It is a little bit tricky there. And there we have it. Very nice. Make some nice scenes with that. suppose you could reenact uh, Dooku's fate in Revenge of the Sith. You just pop the head off and of course his hands. Uh, but I do think the Revenge of the Sith Count Dooku does that a little bit better still. And we'll bring out some of those other Tyrannus figures right now. So here's the original Attack of Clones Count Dooku. I think that's the very first one that Hasbro ever made. So you can see a huge difference between the two figures. I still think it holds up pretty well after all these years. Uh, it's not the most perfect Dooku in the world, but if you need a cheap fix for your collection, I still think that's uh, this is a great option. You could probably find that one brand new for five, ten, fifteen dollars at most. Uh, so not too bad. And over time, it'll probably still maintain that price, while this one will most likely get more expensive. Then we have the Revenge of Sith Count Dooku here which I think a lot of people held in high regard and argued that this is the best Count Dooku ever made, up until now at least. And even now, compared to this new one, I still think he looks really good. Um, I think he looks like Christopher Lee for the most part, for Revenge of the Sith. And uh, the articulation on it was quite innovative for the time. And like I said, it's... Uh, you can kind of react, reenact uh, Tyrannus' fate with this because you can pop off the hands, which are mostly at the arms here, at his forearms. And then you can pop the head off, and then you can have him fall, falling over while uh, Anakin's above him, basically, with the uh, two lightsabers reenacting that scene. Then we have another Dooku that was released during the Legacy Collection, which a lot of people held this one in high regard as well. And this one was the two packs that came with the Geonosis sets, I think. Now, this one I do want to review on the channel at some point, uh, but I haven't done it yet because I don't have the other Jedi that he came with. I just got this one loose off eBay for like $20 at the time. And the Jedi he comes with is the one that throws Anakin a lightsaber, I think, after during the Battle of Geonosis. Uh, the more longer hair one that kind of looks similar to Qui-Gon. I'm trying to think what his name is. It's like New Sassin Tao or something like that. I forget what the exact pronunciation is. And unfortunately, he's kind of expensive on the aftermarket. So if I get him at some point, I don't know when it's going to be, but hopefully sooner than later. But once I get him, I'll review the completed set on the channel. So between these four, I think they're all considered probably the best versions of Count Dooku you can get. Some are more cheaper than others. Um, Tag of Clones one here, probably the cheapest. Revenge of the Sith one's not too bad either. You could probably find them in the $15 or $20 range if you look in the right places. And this Legacy Collection one's probably in the $20 or $30 range, which is still not the worst. Of course, at the time of this video, this Count Dooku you can get just about anywhere for the $16.99 retail price. But I imagine over time that will go up significantly. And then, uh, of course, now that Hasbro, it seems like they're cutting a lot of the production runs of the action figures. No telling how long he'll stay at $16.99. But with all that being said, would I recommend this new TBC Count Dooku for your collection. I totally would. If you don't have one in your collection at this point, a Dooku of any sort, 
Uh, this is the one to get. Oh. Too bad. Uh, and of course, right now, since he's at retail price, this is the time to get him. I would not sit on this for too long. I can't really see him going on going on sale too much. Yeah. Guess he just doesn't want to stand at all. Uh, but I don't see him going on sale too much. So if you're holding out for him going down in like twelve or thirteen or fourteen dollars, I really don't see it. Uh, perhaps it'll happen at some point, but I would say your chances of finding it are next to none. Man, he just doesn't want to stay stand at all. I will say one thing about his ankles is they are kind of ratchety. They're not very uh, fluid. Uh, hopefully that stays right there. But yes, it's the perfect Count Dooku and it potentially might be the last time we get him in 3 and 3 quarter inch scale. So if you really want one for your collection and you want the best of the best, this is the one to get. I would say you need to jump on this sooner than later. Black Series 1 is really good as well. I do have that one reviewed on channel if you want to check that one out. And at some point I will get around to the Hot Toys figure of him. So overall, solid action figure. Long overdue. But it was worth the wait. But anyways, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for plenty more reviews in the future. There will always be more to come. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I always appreciate all your support. And check out some links in the description if you haven't done so already. As always, thanks for watching.